right, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. All right, quick FSD beta video for you all. All right, so this is gonna be the latest update, 11.4.9. Um, so you're gonna notice some new upgrades with the visualization, starting with these curved lines, which now appear again, which if you remember some of the old FSD beta versions used to have that, and then they moved away from it, and now it's back. All right, here we go with the left turn. Really smooth, nice stop, um, all the way getting into the left lane. Notice how this notification for the steering wheel nag is now in the middle, and it's not like here. So that's another change. It's also recognizing the speed limit before turning onto the road, which is kind of interesting. That's a new one. Let's see how we do with... Nice, all right. Also applying force. Oh, oh, always wondering when the steering wheel nag is going to go away. Unfortunately, we did have some kind of recall over the air update that was actually sent to all Teslas. Um, so now that if you were using just autopilot, it's going to use the cabin camera to detect if you're looking or not. And uh, if you don't pay attention, you may receive strikes. Um, and that's something I'm familiar with because I've had FSD beta for quite some time and strikes have always been the case. So it's interesting to see they've now added that to every Tesla with autopilot, which is pretty much all of them built after 2015, I think. So most of them on the road today, which is really interesting. So, um, Welcome to all the people, I guess, that are using autopilot <laughs> to the strike program. You know, I mean, it's not the worst thing. You know, only time you really get a strike is if you're using your phone um, or if you're just blatantly not paying attention. Um, other than that, you know, it's it may notify you sometimes, you know, when you don't think it was correct it's happened to me a couple times hopefully they improve on that um i'll definitely keep you updated based on this update since i just got it it is definitely uh more sensitive because as soon as i engage autopilot it like asked me right away um i guess i'm not moving right now so i didn't ask for input but Another really interesting aspect is single pull. So now notice how I'm activating autopilot by just pulling the gear stock down once instead of twice, which is gonna take some getting used to for me since I actually use tr uh, the TACC Traffic Aware Cruise Control. I use it a lot um, on my everyday drives. I don't usually use it in videos because I'm using FSD. But when I use it, I use it to slow down. Um, so if I'm manually driving and I come up on a red light or something like that, or a car in front of me is slowing down, I'll just tap down once and it'll slow down. Um, but I guess now what that will do is activate autopilot and FSD. So it'll still slow down, but um, it'll also take over the steering. So yeah, take a look at how it merged into the right lane. Did a good job about giving space. And let's see how it gets into this right lane and makes this right. Of course, we are in Santa mode right now with the holidays upon us. Love the way that it shows reindeer instead of cars. And of course, you got the jingle bells going for the indicator. Yeah, still getting used to that notification in the middle of the screen actually may want to change my blind spot camera over because of that. I think I might move it down here. Yeah. But all in all, pretty good job. Um, no takeovers, as you see throughout the whole video. 11.4.9 um, feels pretty good. Uh, shout out to Tesla and the autopilot team making sure everyone gets a nice new update before the holidays end. Um, 
So yeah, I want to thank everyone for watching this. Make sure you hit that like button if you if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel um, for more FSD beta videos and Tesla content. Thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day.